Welcome to Health Management Information Systems, Health Information Systems Overview. This is Lecture A. This lecture defines the concept of an information system and its characteristics, describes the different types of information systems, and describes various types of technologies that support healthcare information systems. The objectives for this lecture are to define the concept of an information system and its characteristics, Describe the different types of information systems. Describe various types of technologies that support healthcare information systems. Let's begin with a definition of an information system. The American Health Information Management Association, AHIMA, defines an information system as an automated system that uses computer hardware and software to record, manipulate, store, recover, and disseminate data. That is, a system that receives and processes input and provides output. Taking into consideration the components of an information system, general characteristics are the capability, through the use of hardware and software, to accept input from users, access and process the data received, as well as store, manage, and present information back to the user. For example, a hospital nurse would typically use a medication reconciliation system to verify that medications which were ordered were administered in a timely and safe manner. This information system would also be used by a physician to continue and discontinue medications, sending appropriate communications to other staff. Betts described two characteristics of an information system as the organization of data into information and the ability to analyze the information. He further stated, for data to be made meaningful, it must have a purpose. The purpose of the stored data should reflect the purpose and type of the information system. Data needs to be processed and organized before it becomes information. Organizing the data will most likely involve the processes of sorting and filtering, classifying before it can be analyzed and stored for later retrieval. An example of how data may be organized is via a data dictionary. AHIMA defines a data dictionary as a descriptive list of the names, definitions, and attributes of data elements to be collected in an information system or database, whose purpose is to standardize definitions and ensure consistent use being a central repository of information about stored data is used to help organize the data. Going back to the previous slide's example, using a handheld barcode reader that registers each medication, a nurse would use information systems to verify the correct medication was ordered and document the actual administration of the medication. With regards to information systems, there are three major categories. They are Transaction Processing System, TPS, Management Information System, MIS, and Decision Support System, DSS. Each will be defined in the next few slides. A transaction processing system, TPS, processes information in order to complete a transaction. Two examples are the admission, discharge, transfer, ADT, and patient billing systems. AHIMA provides the following definition of an admission, discharge, and transfer system. The name given to software systems used in healthcare facilities that register and track patients from admission through discharge including transfers, usually interfaced with other systems used throughout a facility, such as an electronic health record or lab information system. ADT systems are typically not standalone, but rather part of other systems. Some examples include pharmacy, registration, scheduling, or even a lab system may have ADT functionality. HIMSS defines management information systems as a class of software that provide management with tools for organizing and evaluating their department or the staff that supports information systems. Examples of healthcare management information systems include the laboratory or emergency department information systems. The National Research Council recommended that hospitals adopt robust information and communication systems to improve the safety and quality of emergency care and enhance hospital efficiency. Of particular importance to considerably improving emergency care were the following information technologies. 
dashboard systems that track and coordinate patient flow, communication systems that enable ED physicians to link to patients' records or providers, clinical decision support programs that improve decision-making, documentation systems for collecting and storing patient data, computerized training and information retrieval, and systems to facilitate public health surveillance. For example, benefits of a documentation system include the ability to facilitate the capture and storage of information on the patient care process, which in turn provides the information necessary for billing and reimbursement, as well as public health and research purposes. AHIMA defines a decision support system, DSS, as a computer-based system that gathers data from a variety of sources and assists in providing structure to the data by using various analytical models and visual tools in order to facilitate and improve the ultimate outcome in decision-making tasks associated with non-routine and non-repetitive problems. An example is a clinical decision support system. Having defined the concept of an information system and identified the major categories of information systems, the next step is to unite information systems to the healthcare domain and describe the various types of technologies that support a healthcare information system. As defined by Vogel and Peralt, a healthcare information system is an information system used within a healthcare organization to facilitate communication, to integrate information, to document healthcare interventions, to perform record keeping or otherwise support the functions of the organization. An example would be a hospital information system, HIS. This is a system which is comprehensive in that it contains the clinical, administrative, financial, and demographic information about each patient. In addition, administrative, billing, and financial systems that facilitate the revenue cycle and other administrative tasks are components of information systems used in provider and healthcare organizations. Coming from a functional perspective, Vogel and Peralt identified HCIS components that support the following purposes. Patient management and billing, department management, care delivery and clinical documentation, clinical decision support, financial and resource management. Each will be briefly described in the next few slides. Patient management and billing systems are systems that support the management of the patient. An example would be the patient identification functionality and the supporting technology, a master patient index. AHIMA defines a master patient index as a patient identifying directory referencing all patients related to an organization and which also serves as a link to the patient record or information, facilitates patient identification, and assists in maintaining a longitudinal patient record from birth to death. Department management systems are systems that support a department's information needs. An example would be the Health Information Management, HIM, department systems, which may be used to manage the organization's medical records. An electronic document management system would be a supporting technology for the HIM department. According to an AHIMA EHIM workgroup, an electronic document management system, EDMS, is any electronic system that manages documents to realize significant improvements in business work processes. Department management systems supply data to patient databases. For example, the HIM department contributes transcribed history and physicals to EMRs. Care delivery and clinical documentation systems are systems that support the delivery of the care and documentation of that care. An example of an HCIS component would be clinical information systems. A clinical information system is designed to support the delivery of patient care, including order communications, results reporting, care planning, and clinical documentation. An example of a supporting technology would be the clinical documentation module found within an electronic medical record system. Patient clinical data are stored in delivery and clinical documentation systems. A clinical decision support system supports the clinical staff with data interpretation and decision making. Asheroff, Pfeiffer, and Tyke, as cited in Das and Eichner, 2010, stated, 
CDS provides clinicians, patients, or caregivers with clinical knowledge and patient-specific information to help them make decisions that enhance patient care. Das and Eichner go on to explain, the patient's information is matched to a clinical knowledge base, and patient-specific assessments or recommendations are then communicated effectively at appropriate times during patient care. An example would be a prescription decision support system and a supporting technology that would be drug-drug interaction checking. Clinical decision support systems access patient clinical data and act on rules in order to perform various functions. Financial and resource management systems are systems that support the business functions of the organization or practice. An example would be an accounts payable system and a supporting technology would be claims administration. Financial and employee data are stored in these systems, not to be confused with patient billing systems. In a physician setting, the practice management system, PMS, provides a combination of financial and administrative functions. A PMS automates a physician office's patient appointment, scheduling, registration, billing, and payroll functions. Integration of the electronic medical record with the PMS is paramount in today's healthcare environment. For example, the meaningful use criteria, which came about via the Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health, High Tech Act, includes requirements for the electronic collection and reporting of patient demographics, including race and ethnicity, along with clinical data. This concludes Lecture A of Health Information Systems Overview. In Lecture A, an information system and its characteristics were defined. The types of information systems that support the healthcare enterprise requirements were identified, and the various types of technologies that support healthcare information systems were described.